look at you. You know, you're looking for something new and you're in here just like, I feel like there's something better. I feel like there's something more. I feel like I can offer more to this world. I can imagine that there's a easier day that, you know, you feel balanced and you feel clear and you feel confident to take a step. Even if you feel scared, that's okay. You just know how to take a step um, even when you feel scared, which you will, you know, because that's how it is with our neuroscience. The first time we do something, we're just not as good at it. So it feels uncomfortable. Um, and you know how to like work through all those feelings that come with learning. Like when we're learning something, we feel vulnerable. Um, and so that's okay. We don't, we're not the best at it, right? And so emotions will come with this course and that's okay because emotions are normal and that's what we'll, we'll, we'll normalize in the balance section of this course. Um, so the, the three sections are, you know, to balance, how to grow with confidence, and then how to really make this a strategy, you know, how to flourish and expand, um, how to just make it comfortable and a habit for you, okay? You know, I think we're all after some more peace of mind, you know? How can we fill our days with what's really important to us, but still feel peace of mind? You know, doing what's important to us doesn't mean it has to feel horrible, right? So we can be the engineer of what goes in our days, um, so one way to do that is to ask yourself why. Why are you looking for something new? Why are you not feeling balanced? What is important to you? Why is it important to you that things be different? So this is where you get out a piece of paper. Even I'm a big fan of just like grabbing some scrap paper and write it on that. Like some people like beautiful journals. I do like really pretty journals because it seems to me to that it's important. You know, so go to the store and buy some you know pretty journals. You can write in those. I just don't like to keep things forever. Um, but I do like to, so either way, whatever you're, and this is how it's gonna go in this course is you're gonna find what works for you. I do have some pretty journals. I also like to write on scrap paper because it just shows me like, this is where I am today. I don't have to hold on to it. I'm gonna process this and move on. That's kind of the message it gives to me. So I want you to say like, why do I wanna do this course? Why do I wanna feel more productive? And if you ask yourself why five times, usually the last answer is the one that really means something to you. So like the other day I asked myself like, why am I exercising? And it was like, yeah, to stay fit, uh, to fit my clothes, you know, to feel better. But in the end, it was really like to be there as long as I can for my family. And, it, you know, it just made me like really get choked up. And I was like, yeah, I, that's important to me. Like I'm a mom of four, um, you know, I'm a sister, I'm an aunt, I'm, I have, you know, extended family. And I really want to be there forever as, as I want to be there forever, I think. Um, but I want to be productive as long as I can be. And I want to be there for my friends and family my community and so um, I want to be a productive member because it makes me feel good to contribute um, you know when I'm challenged and contributing that's when I feel the best right and when I'm connecting with other humans so that's why I made this course is for us all to kind of figure out our why so ask yourself why do you want to do this course and do it answer five times like have an answer and then just ask yourself again why do I want to do this course have another answer why do I want to do this course literally five times usually the fifth answer is like deeper you know so you're really going to see maybe your value like what's important to you what are you really after um and so when because you know as humans we will put time and effort into our values um and if you're not putting time and effort into something it might be something not important to you so if you're like i, I just having a hard time working on this project you have to ask yourself why and you could do the same thing ask yourself why five times it might be something about it doesn't agree with you um, it's not your core value and therefore you don't really feel like putting tons of time toward it. So, you know, that's, that's one thing. And then the other thing is, you know, I'm going to ask you throughout this course to take a little time, like take five minutes a day, literally to stare at something and be non-productive. I don't mean Netflix. I mean, non-screens. Um, so like this is, it's summer right now in Ohio. So it's really pretty out. Um, so I'll come outside and just look at the trees what are we doing then well we have this brain system called the default network and it's active when we're not actively cognitively working on something um, and the thought is that it kind of processes the information we've given it recently and connects things so we actually need to give some daydreaming time um, so a lot of us type a people have a hard time just sitting doing nothing um, some people meditate which i have been a fan of since COVID as well um, but sometimes it's just sitting, you know, just looking at the trees or looking at some details. It, it has to be non-productive. So you have to, whatever you do, it's not like you're trying to get something done while you're doing it beyond just give your brain time to file. So if you want to just say, hey, I'm just going to give myself filing time, set the timer on your phone. Um, you know, just give yourself five minutes just to let your brain file because it helps to connect. The next thing you want to do is also give yourself some time to dream. 
Um, within the course, we say, you know, get a magic wand if you want to have a little fun with this. Um, because you, you want to kind of wave your magic wand and like, I want the world to look like this. I want my days to look like this. I want my days to be filled with this. And this is just your dreaming time. So there's no right or wrong answers. Just let your brain, like, I feel like I could do this. Um, I, and you know, this is not like, I know how it's going to happen. This is like big dreaming time. But I will tell you, it's going to be really hard to get into the dreaming state if your brain needs some support and a body needs some support. So we have some systems coming up throughout the course. One is called the pet system. We're going to work through that. We want I want that to become a habit for you. The other one is the warm system. I want that to become a habit for you. And once you see, once you put some of these systems into place, you're going to actually be able to have more time for this file, filing time for your brain as well as envisioning time because you're just, your brain is just gonna be well supported. Um, so when it is well supported, you're able to kind of envision more. If it's just taking care of the bare necessities and taking care of your survival needs, it really can't really get into the dreaming envisioning stage. Um, but if you're feeling like you're in the envisioning stage now, like you're feeling good, you can do that. Go ahead, please. Give yourself some time to dream and you don't have to answer how you're gonna get it done. Just how could it look like what if, if you really, if your life was balanced, what would it look like? If you felt confident, what would it look like? You know, if you had all the strategies in the world and you weren't scatterbrained and forgetting things, what would it look like? If you weren't procrastinating, what would it look like? Just look and just kind of see it like a play and envision it and feel it and kind of feel the air blowing in the story and see the colors and just really dream it. And then just let that be, because what you're doing is you're telling your brain, like, create that. You know, you're putting it out there for your brain to see it. So you might want to also give yourselves like five minutes, 10 minutes envisioning time. Um, because if you do, your brain tries to create it. The other thing that's really helpful, there's been a study where some psychologists looked at attaining goals. And people who attain their goals, like they did this envisioning. And then they also looked at the barriers like okay so for me i'm not perfect with strategies i'll set a strategy i'll try it out unless i make it easy and simple it probably is not going to stick at the beginning right that's how us humans are we have to make it easy and simple so if we try something and it's not really working for us well um we might need to redo the strategy which is okay and that's one thing i think is as adults we're kind of hard on ourselves that if we try something it doesn't work you know that redoing the strategy that's fine we don't change our values we don't change what's important to us we don't even change our goals a lot of times but we do change maybe our strategies so it's okay it's fine to change your strategies it doesn't mean you change who you are and what's important to you so that's what we want to acknowledge throughout this course so if you do your envisioning time and you're seeing yourself be really you know really just nailing new strategies and and you're able to hit these goals and you're you're feeling successful and balanced and confident and you're expanding and you're trying new things but then you say what are my barriers to that well my barriers are maybe time or money or energy or focus you're like okay just just acknowledge the barriers that's okay it's fine just acknowledge them because again when in that study that people were 87 percent more successful if they acknowledge the barriers to their dreams or their goals um, because it gets the brain kind of thinking about it a little bit. Not, you don't have to actively think about it, but it gets the brain trying to solve those barriers. Right, so we have to tap into some of these brain powers. You got it, right? Okay guys, so proud of you.